everybody says Dubai is expensive. But actually, Dubai is cheap. Let me and Steve Harvey explain. In this five-star hotel that has a lot of space, a rooftop swimming pool, and a view of the Dubai skyline, we stayed for just $44 a night. In this shop, we got a bottle of perfume for just $8. And we bought local clothes for another $8. We got a souvenir at the local market for $5. We visited this museum for one dollar we rode this boat for less than 30 cents and for food we got all of this at this restaurant for just two dollars and 70 cents not bad right that's pretty good what is that's not bad everyone thinks dubai is expensive and they are right but there is also a cheap side that is affordable to everybody that's one minute see you tomorrow this is the most beautiful building in the world. It's called Museum of the Future, and it's in Dubai, the Emirates. No one knows what's inside until now. The whole building is shaped like an eye, and it's covered with Arabic language. Inside, there are seven floors with zero columns and zero corners. On the fifth floor, they designed an actual space station approved by NASA. On the fourth floor, they built an actual rainforest. On the second floor, they put the craziest ideas like flying drones, self-driving cars, and robotic dogs. This isn't just a building. This is an institution that funds humans with great ideas. The future is not about a building. It's about leaving a better world for our kids. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is a tent in the middle of Dubai. Inside this tent, there is coffee, water, electricity. But why? See, people don't talk about this, but in many countries, it is expensive to die. The cost of a funeral is too high. But here in Dubai, it's free. If you're a local citizen and you pass away, within five hours of your death, all of Dubai comes together to help your family. The ambulance will carry your body for burial. The authorities will set up a huge tent right next to your house for your family and friends. The power company will add electricity and air conditioning. Firefighters will make sure it's safe. And the road authority will put up multiple road signs to make it easy to find. This 100% free tent is where everybody comes together just to say goodbye to you. The idea is simple. Death is hard on the family, but here it's everyone's job to make it a little bit easier. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Guys, yesterday I learned something shocking. Dubai gives away free land. Yes, this land for free. Apparently, all citizens of Dubai can get free land to build a house. It's like 8,000 square feet in size. If they cannot afford to build a house, they get a loan interest-free within 48 hours. And if they cannot take a loan, then they get a free house to live in. This is one of the crazy benefits of being a local citizen in Dubai. And every family here gets free land that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But why? Turns out, when you don't have to worry about expensive rent and bad landlords, you are much happier. And maybe that's why everyone in Dubai gets a free piece of land to call home. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. I hate malls because they all look the same. Except for the malls in Dubai. Like this mall, where they have an actual ski resort inside the mall. The snow is real, the ski lifts are real, and the fun is real. <laughs> or this mall, where they built a real aquarium full of sharks inside the mall. 
People can enjoy the sharks from the outside, but they can also join the sharks from the inside. You can dive with sharks underwater and look at people shopping nearby. The malls in Dubai also have a go-karting ring, an A380 plane simulator, and even an underwater zoo with crocodiles, parrots, and jellyfish. And they even built the world's biggest fountain show to entertain you. From shopping, to eating, to diving, to skiing, to ice rinks, to go-karts, to fountain shows. You can have the best time simply by visiting a mall. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. My religion is better than your religion. This is not what I think. This is what a lot of people think. But one Muslim country in the Middle East decided to put an end to it, the Emirates. Like any Muslim country, you will find a lot of mosques here, but also 45 churches, a Sikh Gurudwara, a Mormon temple, and even a Jewish synagogue. Here, people from all religions live together in peace. Non-Muslims can even buy pork in supermarkets and drink alcohol in bars. And yes, this is in a Muslim country. In return, everyone pays great respect to the local Muslim tradition. Last year, the Pope himself came here to hold prayers in the heart of a Muslim nation. This is the tolerance that the world needs. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. There is a country that drinks salty ocean water. Who does that? Welcome to the Emirates, one of the driest countries in the world. Here, the only water people can drink is this salty, undrinkable ocean water. That's why they desalinate it by putting water through a filter to turn it from salty to fresh. And it even gets crazier. Because they need water, they send planes to the skies to release salt and make the clouds bigger to create more rain. Then all they have to do is catch the rain in these huge dams and enjoy the fresh water. This country is doing so much crazy expensive things just to get water. In that case, the least we can do is save water when we can. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. See, after traveling to 80 countries around the world, I found that Dubai is the best place to live and work. And this is why. One, this place is fast. In just 49 years, this place went from a desert to this. Two, this place is diverse. 90% of the population is made up of immigrants and you get to make friends with people from so many different countries. Three, Dubai has no tax. Here, no one has to pay income tax. Four, people are crazy. You have to be a bit crazy to build the tallest building in the world, an entire palm in the ocean, and a shark aquarium inside a mall. I am a big fan of cities that that are clean, hardworking, and determined to succeed. And this is why I call Dubai my home. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.